In this video, we are going to discuss about section of a pentagonal pyramid. We will discuss a problem. A pentagonal pyramid of base side 30 mm and axis side 50 mm rest on its base on HP with one base edge perpendicular to VP. It is cut by a plane perpendicular to VP and inclined at 30 degree to HP, meeting the axis 20 mm from the vertex. Draw the elevation, sectional top view and true shape of the section. The solid, that is the pentagonal pyramid, is resting with its base on the ground or HP. While the base being on HP, one edge of the base is perpendicular to VP. Then the pyramid is sectioned by a plane which is perpendicular to VP and inclined to HP. When an object is resting with its base, its base can be seen in the plan. The plan is to be drawn first by having one side of pentagon perpendicular to VP. Draw the XY line first, then construct the pentagon by having one side perpendicular to VP. Name the corners of the pentagon with numbers. A pyramid has apex point. Find out the apex point of pentagon by drawing two lines from the midpoint of one side to the opposite corner. Intersection point of these lines is the apex point or vertex point. A pyramid has edges from the base corner to the apex point. These edges are called slant edges. Project the apex point to the elevation. Mark the height of the pyramid. Apex point in the elevation is O dash. Project all the base corners up to the XY line. Join these points to O dash. Name these base corners of elevation as 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash and 5 dash. By this the projection part is over. The cutting plane is perpendicular to VP and hence the cutting plane can be seen as a line in the elevation. Distance of cutting plane from the apex point is to be marked on the elevation. Cutting plane is 30 degrees inclined to HP. Mark those points wherever the cutting plane cuts the pyramid. Project these points to the plan and mark it on the corresponding edges of plan. Let these points be P, Q, R, S and T. Join these points with straight lines. Draw sectional lines in this closed region. Mark the corresponding points in the elevation as P dash, Q dash, R dash, S dash and T dash. After sectioning, the top part of the pyramid is assumed to be removed. Therefore, darken the required remaining part of the solid. For drawing true shape of the section, draw lines from P dash, Q dash, R dash, T dash, and S dash. All these lines must be perpendicular to the cutting plane line. Now, measure the distance of P from the XY line. Mark it on the projector drawn from P dash and let that point be P. Measure the distance of Q, mark it on the projector drawn from Q dash and let that point be Q. Measure the distance of R, mark it on the projector drawn from R dash and let that point be R. Measure the distance of T from the XY line, mark it on the projector drawn from T dash and mark it as capital T. Measure the distance of S from the XY line. Mark it on the projector drawn from S dash and let that point be S. Join these points P, Q, R, S and T. 
draw sectional lines or hatching lines in this closed area thus the elevation sectional plan and true shape of the pentagonal pyramid are drawn